Rich killing the beats. Rich killing the beats. Rich killing the beats. He has not a wicked sense address this, but his uh, security, I, I don't know if it was his security or maybe his entourage, really. I, I think it was more so of his entourage. Um, knocked out a fan, a uh, young kid. I don't know if he was uh, a minor or, you know, a, yeah. of adult age, but. Did that nigga a bag? Yeah. Oh, Did yeah. That they that knocked bag, him out on man. camera. <laughs> it was terrible. Content is terrible. So uh, I'm going to play this clip right here. This is from, like I said, it's from the New York Post. So. We should be okay playing this. Always got to give a, f a fair warning ahead of time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Before. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So this is Nardo Wick's entourage. A uh, young fan approached him, I believe, asking for a picture and an autograph. And this is what happened. Where do you go? Damn. Luckily, they didn't show him. Okay. Yeah. So, Basically, he ended up knocking one of his entourage ended up knocking him out. Well, two of mm -hmm. them, actually. One of them knocked him out, which you can see from the first shot. He was knocked out cold. And then on his right. way down, because he there was a wall next to him holding him up on his way down, uh, a, a smaller uh, individual came up and just, <laughs> I don't know, man, just fatality. This dude at the end fatality so, him. Uh, for no apparent reason. So, but you can also see Nardo Wick in the back of that uh, footage where he actually mm -hmm. is trying to stop and hold back um, the guy from yeah. um, from doing any more damage. But um, and like I said, he has since addressed this. Uh, he dropped a video where mm -hmm. he said, um, you know, basically, you know, he has he had re since reached out because his mom, the 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 individual's mom, who I mean, the guy who got knocked out, his mom spoke on this and uh, she made a statement basically saying like she she was just sick to her stomach and that, you know, her son was uh, and it, you can see who the guy was in the video. Like he wasn't, yeah. of course, involved in any gangs or, any, you know, he wasn't a street kid or anything like he wasn't coming up there to do any harm. So right. he has since addressed it and said, like, basically that. Um, he wanted to reach out to the kid to do whatever he can to, uh, mm -hmm. to make things right. And that he's not in fear of uh, being sued or anything. He just genuinely cares about the fan or whatever, and that he had no intentions or no knowledge of that uh, incident uh, going mm -hmm. to take place. So, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, go ahead. Yeah. I just feel like uh, academics had a great take, man, because he, he said, that's the difference between homie security and security security. And that's exactly right. Like if you, like if you invite your homies, they're gonna do extras. Let's be honest. They having a good time. They ain't gonna take it as serious. They with their homies. It's more like y'all chilling rather than a professional setting. I think if he had, I don't know. Like you said, I don't know if that was his entourage or his security team. I believe it was his security. Yeah, um, oh yeah. You know, if it was a security, but, that's crazy. Uh, I think if you have professional security, high, you know, high detail security, like me and yourself, you know what I'm saying? We top flight security of the world. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what but yeah, if we had legitimate security, that would have never happened. And who knows how much, I mean, if I'm honestly, bro, let's be honest, my nigga, if I'm that nigga, I'm suing. Um, I believe, I don't know if you, if you got the response, but I believe he responded to it. And yeah, he, he was did. saying that he reached out. Response. I can pull it up because I did want to. Yeah, pull it yeah. Up. Pull up the res pull up the response because he he said something that was really important. He offered compensation for said incident. Depending on that bag is the if I'm him, it will determine if I would take that or not. Because if he only try to offer you a couple G's, you might you might need to go pursue legal, you know, civil actions and get a bigger bag from it. Because that's crazy. Because he, you know, but then again, his. Now, he shouldn't have got knocked out because he wasn't showing no th immediate threat. But the way he walked, he walked up with a little bit of, like, fiercity. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. walked up a little quick. So, uh, but then again, it, it, like I said, it was just walking up on somebody is not a, really a threat like that, I guess, allegedly. So, you know, yeah, I mean, you, never, exactly. you never know. Like, I mean, th like I said, when you look at the guy, you can kind of tell, like, you know, he he wasn't really on anything like for them yeah. to have done what they did and the guy who knocked them out was way bigger than him right so and here oh here i think it is right here got the response right here shouts out to uh, i think i 
I think we played their clips a couple of times before. Shouts out to uh, Mag TV. Mag. Mm-hmm. I don't condone that situation that happened. I don't stand for that situation that happened. I was fully on what that situation was about to take place. Feel me? As soon as it happened, I shot the escalate situation. And after the situation, I, I, I got in contact with his mama. I sent him my number. I called, asked how he was doing. I told her I'd do anything to make it up to him as a fan. You feel me? I, I told her to keep me updated on his health. And, and, and it ain't about trying to stop nothing from happening because I don't want to get with nothing. It ain't none of that. You feel me? I, I genuinely care about the fan. That's all I'm worrying about right now. I don't give a damn about it. Like, wait, everybody talking about, talking about, sue, sue. Yeah, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's shout out to him for response, shout out to yeah. him for making it right for for trying to attempt to make it right, man. For real, yeah, you know? definitely. Because I don't, th- I, I watching the footage, I don't think that he had, of course, like had it. No, it's not like, and nah. I definitely don't think that's something like he's telling his entourage or his or his security to like to do. Like as far as that, yeah. I think they were just kind of too turned up. Some people were probably, and they may not have been. Uh, if that was his security, that's crazy. But I highly doubt that was security because I think that that looked like somebody trying to two people trying to get in right. good graces type of you know situation where they were trying to like show them like hey this is what i can do type of deal and it, not knowing that this is not how the business is ran because anybody especially a professional security company anybody they would know like this is gonna not only hurt you but hurt the mm-hmm. company that you're you know that's being hired so facts i don't facts. know but yeah like you said shouts out to him for uh responding and uh addressing his mother and um and trying to make that situation uh, i don't know if he actually did you know act on what he said and reach out reached out and actually helped him out or did anything to you know i don't know maybe pay for his medical bills or whatever the case may be but like you said at the beginning he deserves a bag for that yeah <laughs> just, for, just for that <laughs> the Damn way it right. looked like you could have killed that man seriously hey, for real for real hey head trauma ain't no joke we we yeah. we've seen that happen many times i don't know if you remember there was an incident probably like 10 years back maybe more maybe less where it was like some high, like, i think middle school kids fighting in the bathroom like some little girls and the little girl here head on like the sink or something died bro mm. so it, it just goes to show you imagine that dude that got knocked out he hit his head on the concrete it's enough to knock him out or, or knock him out or kill him and then boom instead of looking at a civil suit you're looking at murder charges or right. manslaughter charges you know right Shout out Mr. Shep, man. Shout out Shep. Yeah, shout out Mr. Shep, my boy. Y'all gonna make sure y'all tap in with his channel too, man. Mr. Shepherd, man, on YouTube, man. Facts. My bro- my boy, brother Williams, man. So yeah, but uh, yeah, mm-hmm. shout out to uh, Nardo Wick, like I said, for responding to that and actually patching right. that up. But um. Uh...